Your Excellency, we are so glad to have you at Yalla Kora again. It's a pleasure always to have you with us. Thank you. The privilege is mine. And uh, on behalf of all the embassy team, I welcome you to our premises. And especially, I wish to welcome these uh, five uh, children who have won the right to participate in a wonderful soccer camp in Spain, as well as uh, La Liga representative, uh, their local partners, Six Yards, and the sponsors who are making this program possible. And it's a very happy day for all of us. Thank you so much. And we would like to welcome our future players. <laughs> Uh, how do you see uh, the first uh, the impact of the first uh, La Liga camp in Egypt? Well, I'm sure the children will agree that it's been a great success. Uh, they've already enjoyed the experience of uh, playing and being with many other children in a camp locally here. Uh, a few have been selected to move on to a new experience, and this time in Spain, mingling with uh, Spanish uh, young people like them, but also from many other countries in a great week of soccer. So they will, it will be the first step of fulfilling uh, one of their main dreams. And I'm sure these are, their smile is fantastic. And I'm sure their talent is equivalent. Yes, we would like to see new uh, Mohamed Salah, huh? Promise. <laughs> uh, how, do you see the, how do you see the impact of uh, Egyptian players in La Liga in the future? Well, uh, you say well in the future because we haven't had that much impact as of yet, although I still uh, don't abandon the hope that Mohamed Salah uh, will come to Spain to play one day for one of our great teams because he's such a great uh, player but also such a great person. Uh, but uh, maybe we are here among the new uh, the, the first players uh, from Egypt who will perform in La Liga. I understand that there are some women who are already playing in Spanish teams uh, because let's not forget that soccer is not just a boys game. It's also for women and for people of any age. Sport is very important. But hopefully, thanks to La Liga, thanks to Six Yards, uh, well, we are contributing to to, to the ecosystem that will allow more players to come to Spain and play in one of the best leagues in the world. Your Excellency, we know that you are from the city of San Sebastian and we'd like to uh, congratulate you for the win of the Real Cisu uh, in the Champions League after 10 years of absence. That's a long time. How do you see the impact of uh, being in such uh, best European champions uh, for the city and for the, for the team itself? Well, everybody in the city is uh, cheering and enjoying the moment. Uh, they've made it to the Champions League. They, are, they arrived fourth in La Liga Championship this year. This means it's a great team, of course. They've been able to beat all the major teams at least once this season. And now they will have to try to beat the European teams. It's a great opportunity. Uh, who knows? Real Sociedad won the league, Spanish League twice in the past. Maybe one day, inshallah, they will become European champions. Uh, they're not the favorites, but it doesn't matter. If your ambition is great, uh, there's no limit to what you can do. At the same time, of course, we are also very proud of the other Spanish teams who have made it to the European uh, League uh, and uh, the Champions League and other European divisions. Congratulations to Real Madrid, to Barcelona, to Atletico. And and after, 10 years, after 10 years, it's a great success to be there again. It is an absolute success, and the, each uh, team brings its own style. Uh, the style of my city is always hard work and uh, being able to play in any conditions. The weather in San Sebastián is famously rainy, so it doesn't matter. You have to learn how to play in the rain, in the sun, in the cold, in the heat, and I think they have proven that this year. Yeah, that's true. Thank you so much. We would like to welcome you in Egypt. Uh, we are happy to have you here and we wish you all the success in your new mission. What is the first thing you are looking for in your new mission here in Egypt? Well, thank you uh, for welcoming me. Uh, not just you, but all the country, all the people in general has, have welcomed me as well. And um, I don't, I'm not going to say that I'm having it easy but uh, my antecessors did a really good job uh, building 
a lot of relations uh, in terms of uh, event management, um, building relationships with the people, creating awareness and stuff. But um, <coughs> if I need to say like the three main things uh, in which I'm going to focus this this year is um, trying to attract and involve uh, more Spanish uh, La Liga teams to come to Egypt to make uh, perform more activities. And the second will be uh, building more relationship with uh, commercial relations with with partners as pro. Um, and and the third one will be um, making uh, less events but bigger. Um, and I hope our partners. Uh, from six yards, uh, I'm sure that they will help us a lot uh, with that. Lu, can you tell us more about the Madrid camp? Uh, what uh, what the players should uh, await there? I mean, um, I don't want to get ahead. I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to spoil. Uh, I don't want to spoil the the kids of the wonderful experience that that they're gonna live there. Um, what I can say is that uh, they're gonna learn. They're gonna grow. They're gonna enjoy. And I need to be a bit honest with this. Uh, I feel a bit jealous. I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly with them to to play in the. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing for you guys. Uh, I can assure you that. Um, take uh, every minute and every experience, every every second to to take all the advantage you can from everyone and from everything, uh, because this is a, a life-changing opportunity for you guys. You're very lucky. عمرو مرزوق احنا يعني فخورين جدا بنتيجه الكامب واحنا كنا معاكم في الاول خطوه بخطوه من البدايات والتحضيرات والحقيقه فخورين جدا بالخمس ولاد اللي كسبوا واكيد هم عندهم تالنت او عندهم حاجه مختلفه ان هم يكسبوا يعني اولا طبعا بنبارك لكم على الكامب وعلى نجاحه يعني الحقيقه وعايز اعرف منك ايه اللي انت عايز تغيره الكامب الجاي؟ والله هو الكامب ده كان متوافر فيه جميع عوامل النجاح يعني احنا كنا من الاول كنا مقدرين البراند اللي احنا شغالين معاه يعني جميع عوامل النجاح كانت متوفرة دعم السفير الاسباني كان موجود دعم الرعاه اللي من غير ما كناش هنقدر نعمل حاجه كان موجود الاطفال نفسهم كانوا فيري امبيشس عايزين يعملوا حاجه وامنوا بينا احنا قدرنا عن طريق التيم بتاعنا ان احنا نطلع مستوى راقي يعني انا برضو حابب ان انا اشكر كل الناس اللي ساعدتنا في ال... في الكامب ده كل الناس لان كلهم كانوا شركاء نجاح بالنسبه لنا بالنسبه للمشروع احنا دي بدايه دي بدايه هنا في مصر احنا بنحلم ان احنا نكبر المشروع بنحلم ان احنا السنه في شهر يعني اخر السنه ان شاء الله ان احنا يكون عندنا مش خمسه بس اللي سافروا اسبانيا يكون عندنا اكتر الضعف او الثلاث اضعاف يسافروا اسبانيا احنا بنحاول ان احنا نطلع مواهب يعني بنحاول ان احنا نطلع مواهب وبنحاول ان احنا نظهر مواهب فده ان شاء الله ده الهدف بتاعنا ان احنا على قد مسؤوليه البراند اللي احنا شغالين بيه شغالين مع يعني شركاء معايا هنا في مصر وان شاء الله نقدر نكبر المشروع ده بالناس اللي موجوده ان شاء الله يعني بتقول انه كل حاجه الحمد لله اتسهلت سواء هنا من من ناحيه الليجا ومن ناحيه الرعاه شايف في اي حاجه كانت بالنسبه لك يعني عائق او اشتغلت عليها كتير علشان تقدر تحلها ولا كله كان يعني ماشي سموث يعني لا هو مفيش حاجه بتمشي سموث هو احنا يعني احنا احنا كل حاجه فيها يعني بس هي دي هي دي يعني اقدر اي حد بيشغل في المجال ده يعني احنا بنحاول ان احنا نتعلم بنحاول ان احنا نشوف ايه اللي احنا يعني ايه ايه البوتنشال اللي احنا المفروض ان احنا نصلح فيه ايه ال يعني ايه الاوبستكلز اللي كانت محطوطه بنحاول ان احنا نتفاداها في الفترات الجايه لان احنا يعني هو ده هدف اي عمليه ان احنا نوبتمايز يعني البروسس بتاعت اي عمليه اي عمليه شغل اي عمليه بروجكت uh, لازم يبقى فيها دايما الاوبتمايزيشن فطبعا الموضوع ما كانش حالم يعني بس uh, يعني احنا ده شغلنا ده شغلنا واحنا ب, ب, بالتيم ورك uh, بنقدر نعمل الحاجات دي ان شاء الله يعني بالظبط يعني هي الفكره كلها ان ما فيش حاجه بتيجي بسهوله وما فيش حاجه بتتعمل بسهوله لان ممكن البعض يقول كامب و, والدنيا سهله واختيارات الولاد سهله فاكيد كان في توضيبات كتيره وكان في معوقات صعبه يعني جدا كان في توضيبات كتيره جدا كان في خلف الكواليس حاجات كتيره جدا بتحصل بس احنا اللي كان مساعدنا ان احنا فعلا في المشروع ده سواء من منفذين للمشروع سواء لمساهمين في المشروع سواء لسبورتر في المشروع احنا كلنا كنا بنشتغل سواء اهالي كانوا بيسبورتونا سواء الاطفال الشباب نفسهم اللي عندهم الحلم كله كان 
عايز يوصل لهدف ان هو يعني فعلا يكبر الموضوع واحنا بندين الفضل لكل الناس بصراحه يعني كله ماشي على نفس المنهج فطبعا دي اكتر حاجه اكيد ساعدتكم يعني بشكرك يا عمرو شامر زوق كنا مع بعض في اول انترفيو وكنت لسه بتعرفنا على الكامب وكنا بنتكلم على تفاصيل الكامب وسالتك سؤال انه هل الكامب ده هيبقى مختلف ولا زي اي كامب تاني الولاد بتطلعوا قلت لي لا وعدتني ان الدنيا تبقى مختلفه هيبقى في كمان كوتشز من اسبانيا والدنيا مختلفه كل ده تنفذ ولا لا انا جاي حاسبك اهو النهارده دلوقتي اولا انا بشكرك جدا وبشكر سعاده السفير وبابلو على صراحه نجاح المشروع ده بسبورت بتاعهم ولا يعني الكامب زي ما وعدنا الناس كلها اتنفذ فعلا على الحقيقه وصراحه من غير الاهالي والاولاد ما كانش الموضوع نجح فالمدربين الاسبان اه موجودين بس الاولاد هم اللي بيدوا شكل تاني مختلف للكامب ده فاحنا بنوعد الاولاد ان شاء الله ان احنا هنكمل معاهم في اسبانيا يبقى احسن وفي المرات الجايه لان ده مش مش كامب واحد لا ده دي بدايه وفي كامبس تانيه ان شاء الله هتتم وهتبقى احسن بكتير باذن الله